So I do want to cover this though. So this was actually like the main article that I wanted to talk about today. Um, because this perfectly ties in to just kind of a little bit too much controlling of a person. So for Jordan Peterson, whether you like him or not, okay, is a professor. I, I do. I respect him quite a bit as a educator. Um, he's an, he's as amazingly logical mind, but anyway, uh, he is a, is a, is a famous talker, right? Before he was a famous talker, he was a, a psychologist at a college. He was an educator and he's gotten into the spotlight, uh, because of his beliefs on speech and gender ideologies and kind of that whole topic. So very charged, very, you know politicized issue he's part of that discussion and right now something that kind of crazy is happening that you wouldn't i'm just even in canada i'm just it's it's kind of weird to see these types of societal programs existing silencing and and like controlling speech is a very old way of thinking. Um, it was used by kings. It was used by um, emperors and like people who wanted to maintain control. Some of our worst examples right now in this, like in our modern time is like Korea um, uh, and a lot of like, you know, warlord countries. Like they basically, you can't say this, you can't think this, you can't do this. And the only reason they have a lot of those limitations is because it's the idea of keeping control. So when in a modern society starts to attack professionals for their opinion and how they present themselves, that's weird to see because free thinking people in oppression and silencing typically don't go hand in hand. They, they tend to not survive in the same world because people who want freedom tend to be okay with things they don't like. And people who want control have no tolerance for things they don't like. And when you have no tolerance for something, that is typically when you have a kind of like I'm the boss and everyone is beneath me and anybody who thinks different than me is wrong. And that's just, it's, you don't, it's, it's weird to see that in modern culture. Well, right now, the Ontario, <laughs> let's try that again. Well, right now, the Ontario College of Psychologists is threatening Jordan Peterson with a mandatory social media retraining. And again, not again, to kind of give you the gist of what's happening, Jordan Peterson's very outspoken on Twitter and in his videos and in his speeches. And in Canada, they actually have a, um, their schools are government entities, right? And the government set up a, um, like a reporting system that you can report your doctors, your psychologists, whatever. So if, if, you know, your doctor's being a bad doctor, you have a, a means of reporting them and them getting investigated. So on its surface, it seems very like, sure, why wouldn't you? You want bad doctors to be punished, but that's very seldom how programs like that are often implemented, right? So essentially what happened in Canada is they have a, um, I think they're called czars, but a, a administration that investigates these reports well this only was about within a year they brought this reporting system into life well within a few moments of it going live um in total jordan peterson has received 12 complaints from the public that he has harmed them or been racist or been in insert crime and there's been 12 incidences and you can go into more detail and see the specifics because I recommend doing it. It's a pretty good read. He, he lays it all out on Twitter, but essentially it's, he tweeted this and therefore I was harmed because of his words. And that's 
essentially every complaint, all 12 complaints are from no one who was a patient or student of his. And they complained that his words like hurt them. Now a, there's an entirely different topic to be, to be brought up about words being violence. And that's not what we're here for because the simple answer is they're not, but uh, there's a deep, there's a deep explanation to that. And we can go into a di different day. Commissars. That's right. Um, it's so unfortunate when these tools are exploited and used improperly. And then exactly, exactly what was happening. So the people who don't like what he says, filed complaints on Jordan and the Ontario college went after him. They s gave him basically a proposition. They said, you can go to mandatory social media retraining. It's $225 an hour that you will be required to pay. And at the end of this training, which is an undetermined amount of time, by the way, um, we will determine if you will keep your right to your license to practice psychology. So even if he complied, which he won't, thank goodness, even if he complied at the end of it, they could still say, no, you do not get to keep your license because we don't think that you have relearned how to communicate. Think about how scary that is for a second. You've grown up your whole life. And then because the political sphere has changed, you can lose your livelihood because people you don't know don't like your opinion on things. That's some crazy level of like, I mean, <laughs> that's medieval levels of control and oppression. You guys do understand that, right? He is allowed to have his opinion just as much as the people who oppose him. Weaponizing the government so that a man can lose his career unless he complies to the retraining. Oh, I mean, that really should put like a shiver down your spine. I want you to think you're at work right now. You're having a phone conversation with a friend. And you happen to say something that the person sitting next to you doesn't agree with. And then two and a half months later, you have a letter saying you go to mandatory retraining because of this incident. It is not just the Jordan Peterson. This is where it starts. And the problem is, is regardless what side of the aisle you're on, you shouldn't be in favor of this because now I want you to picture Jordan Peterson being in charge and deciding who needs retraining. So if he's your enemy, imagine he gained power and used those same tools that you want to use against him. That's why it matters because it's bigger than one person. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than Jordan. It is the concept of a free world means that you are free to speak. And that obviously everyone said, well, not free to, not free from consequences. That's true. But it shouldn't be the government. It shouldn't be the government. It's not right. And man, if you really do listen to what Jordan has to say, Mr. Dr. Jordan Peterson, all he wants is the world to be good. He wants the world to heal. He wants people to be happy and mentally healthy. He sees the pain that the earth is experiencing right now. And it's killing him. And now he's being attacked for trying to save that very world. And it just, the world doesn't advance because we stop talking to each other. And I think it's just really important that we make a point to keep the communications flowing. We got to stop talking at each other and start talking to each other again. So Mr. Dr. Jordan Peterson, stand true, stand firm, and hold the line, dog, because we need you to.
We really, really need you to.